All right, so what's going on, everybody? My name is Nikita Nazarov. This is the hockey channel for all hockey fans to be in, or in other words, hockey coverage and gaming. And we're jumping into a live stream that's going to be covering the Carolina Hurricanes versus the New York Rangers. Game one, of course, of this play in round. And what's going on, everybody? I see you guys joining in already. What's going on, Slapshot Hockey? What's going on, NAB? How's it going, everybody? And, um, I'm just super pumped, super excited for this series. Uh, we already had a Williams and a Strom fight. Yes, I saw that. And I think it was even. I mean, Strom got his nose bleeding at the end of it. Uh, Williams did take a nice punch to the face as well. So I guess we'll see how it goes. But there's a rivalry already sparked in it. Yeah, everything is good, NAB, if you're asking me. And, um, you know, same question kind of goes out to you and how you guys have been. Uh, this is going to be a great, yeah, I can already feel the intensity. I can feel the hits. Yeah, this is going to be a great series for sure. I can't wait for the rest of the series to play out. It's certainly going to be one heck of a series for sure. I'm not really sure who I want to cheer for. Like part of me wants to cheer for the Hurricanes, but part of me wants to cheer for the Rangers because of Panarin. But I really do not know, honestly. I think whoever wins, wins at this point. I really kind of don't care because I really don't want to choose a side in this because I'm not the biggest fan of Carolina and neither am I the biggest fan of the Rangers, but, you know, it is what it is. So there's a power play for the Hurricanes right now. Uh, they're up one nothing, of course, so far. And um, I'm not sure who took the penalty for the Rangers. The Hurricanes just had a close call. And by the way, the Hurricanes uh, ended up uh, getting a goalie that they are kind of surprised by, which is Henrik Lundqvist. I mean, I can understand why they went with Lundqvist for the Rangers because he's had a great record against Carolina, but so far he's trailing to them one nothing. So we'll see how it plays out for sure because, you know, this is certainly not um, something that's going to be over in the first period. You know, there's about four minutes left, and, uh, yeah, this is going to be a tough series till the end for sure. And we got a nice little scrum in front of the net. And Sveshnikov got into it as well. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I'm not the biggest fan of either one either. So if you can find a way to, you know, sway me one way or another, then maybe, but nah, even at that point, I'd probably just stay away from that, to be honest. So let's go ahead and kind of put this table like this so that I can get a little bit of a better camera view. And I'm wearing the Chicago Blackhawks jersey because this is probably the closest you're going to come to to a Hurricanes jersey that's red. Um, and not to say that I'm cheering for the Hurricanes at all, but just to say, you know, at least I have one team that I have a color of that's at least similar to. So Carolina's still got the puck in the Rangers zone after they just entered it. Uh, big shot right there, big rebound. Henrik Lundqvist with big saves right there. And um, a surprising scratch there for Carolina. Um, I thought this angle was going to play, but they put Geeky in. So... I was kind of I was kind of thrown off by that. Um, I live in North Carolina, so I'm not allowed to watch Carolina games. Yeah, that's tough. You have the blackout. I know, and I can't watch Florida or Tampa games either because you know I live in Florida, so that's a blackout zone as well for me. You know, Niederreiter could have probably buried that puck right there. Yes, he was right in front of the net, in front of Lundqvist, to make it to nothing. Shots are nine to two for Carolina so far in this game. So. Seems like Carolina has been the better team in the first period thus far. Um, I haven't been able to watch much of the first period because I had to go out and help my parents a little bit, and that's why the stream started late as well. But with that being said, you know, that's where things are at right now. But Lundqvist has done well so far, so I can't really complain. Um, from that point of view, I, I think he's certainly done his, he's held his own so far for me, at least. Jordan Stahl on the four check, the Rangers take the puck back though. Panarin hasn't really been prominent in this game so far from what I've watched. So maybe Carolina is, is finding a way to shut that guy down because he's been, you know, 
uh, a guy that's certainly driven most of the offense for the Rangers. So we'll see if, you know, he can break through and get it going. Um, I'm pretty sure Ryan Strom is out there with Capo Caco right now. I'm not sure who the other guy is on that line. And it might be Gautier, Julian Gautier, a former Carolina Hurricane as well. Carolina and the Rangers have made a few trades here lately that have had, have seen, you know, players swap teams, which is interesting. Eric Stahl used to play for both the Rangers and the Hurricanes back in the day. Um, it's, it's crazy. You know, as much as we talk about the Lightning and the Rangers swapping basically defensemen and stuff, and most of the defense going to the Lightning afterwards, I, you know, to be honest, it's kind of been like this lately with either forwards or defensemen. Um, as, for example, Adam Fox was a former Carolina pick, but got traded to the Rangers. A big hit right there on the Carolina player that he absolutely just got shelled by two players. Big chance right there for the Carolina Hurricanes in front, but a big save right there by Henrik Lundqvist, nevertheless. And the intensity is, is actually quite good. This is like playoff level intensity. is insane. I mean, both teams are obviously playing to get into the playoffs, so I can certainly see why. And obviously, Williams and Strom are both, you know, out there on the ice right now. At least Strom was, Williams is out now. And both were actually in the box for fighting, as you guys know. So far, though, uh, I think the advantage in terms of play goes to the Hurricanes. I, I think, you know, along with the hitting that they've done, but also the, the defensive play, um, I think I think they've done a better job right now than, than have the Rangers. And Panarin is out on the ace. Another, oh, man, it was a potential 2-1 for the Hurricanes as well just now. Um, Sapcha says, do you think we'll see another fight? I think so, yeah, because the intensity has been just ramping up every minute. Adam Fox was a flame. Well, he was traded to the Carolina Hurricanes afterwards in that Dougie Hamilton trade. Um, so I guess you could technically say he was property of Carolina for some point. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that Hamilton Furland trade. Yep. That that's basically what I meant. Never meant to say that he was like originally drafted by Carolina. I just meant to say that they held his rights for some time before he got traded to the Rangers. And the period has almost come to an end. There's uh, about six seconds left. And Sveshkov is going to the box. I don't know what is it, what it's for, but he stripped the puck off of Kako, and then they showed the big hit with Bushnevich and Smith laying down Nechas, who you know reportedly you know wasn't a hundred percent in terms of coming back for this game, but he did. So there's a late power play for the Rangers. They're most likely not going to score because there's only 5.6 seconds left on the clock, but who knows? Um, but still, it's, 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 it could be a potential, you know, um, it, it could be a, the difference maker for now because uh, we've come to the intermission of the first period. Office Carolina is up 1-0 with Slavin's goal. A minute and one second into the first period from Teravine and Ajo actually was able to see that goal live as well. So now we can go ahead and talk about some stuff if you guys want to. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, post a little TikTok here saying that I went online and stuff. So let me just go ahead and uh, record for TikTok a little bit here. And then I'll be right there with you guys. Let me see. Got a lot of likes. Okay. Interesting. I right, so got now nine followers on TikTok. Nice. All right, so we're live right now for the Hurricanes versus the Rangers game. As you guys see the live chat to the right, the amount of people that are here to the left, three likes so far. Make sure you guys join me on the stream. It's a great stream. So let me go ahead and quickly copy the link for the stream as well. Because I would say I would need to feature that. End of the first GG, yep. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and post it right here. There you go. And go post it. Once he has the TikTok, it's almost posted. And yep, yep, there you go. It's on now. So I'm going to go ahead and post a link to it as well in the comments so that people can join it. There you go. All right. So we're all good. I've shared it and on over on every single social platform that I could have. I'm doing a stream right now. So I can't play. And that was XL Kingdom, by the way, asking me to play with him. But obviously I can't play with him right now because Obviously, I'm doing the stream for the Hurricanes versus the um, Rangers game. <clears throat> but that was that was super fun to watch. That first period was insane. Like, I'm super pumped to see what happens now. I'm not sure if there's a late game today. But if there is, I'm surely going to stream that. You, you, you better bet. Um... Let me just go ahead and check out the schedule real quick. Hey, what's going on, Excel? Obviously, I texted you. You joined. Um, so today, we got a 10.30 game, uh, p.m. Eastern, obviously. The Flames versus the Jets. I'm certainly going to watch that game, and I'm probably going to stream for that game as well. So watch out for that stream. Come around 10.30 or so. I can't play on PS4 today. Why is that? What happened? And in terms of the other games, like there's the Oilers Blackhawks game, which I want to stream as well, but I'm not sure. Just came across this channel. What do you think of the Canucks? Um, honestly, um, they didn't have the greatest game against my Jets. Um, you know, hopefully they have a better showing against uh, the uh, what you might call it the the Wild. I mean, I certainly want them to win against the Wild because I'm not a huge Wild fan, but. Uh, with that being said, I'm excited to see what they can do. I mean, they're a young team that's on the rise, and I think there's still uh, some learning that they have to go through before they, you know, legitimately become a contender in this league. But, yeah, um, I'm certainly excited and ecstatic to see what they can do. Um, they're not, like, my top favorite team or anything like that, but um, they are a team that, you know, I, I very, very much like. Um, obviously, uh, with guys like Pedersen and Hughes and that team, how can you really not like that team, to be honest? You're in your grandma's house. You have no Wi-Fi. Damn, that's tough. I'm going to go back to Twitter because somebody literally responded to me. Okay, and this guy says, an opinion based on false facts is... The opinion that Kessler... Through, throughout was not as is not a fact. Like, bro, I, I I don't know what this guy, bro. I'm gonna watch the Montreal game on TV. Okay, I'm probably gonna try to watch that game as well if I can and stream for it as well, of course. Um, are you saying my opinion? That opinions can be wrong is indeed wrong. What? What are you talking about? The problem with your initial comment is that you took Kessler's Kessler's opinion as a fact. So may you please search up. So may you please make that distinction next time. I'm not saying that your opinion is wrong. 
as you see, I said that you cannot deem an opinion, cheese, an opinion to be wrong unless it's a statement that's trying to be backed up by evidence that's false do you get the memo like honestly bro i'm so sick and tired of these twitter people like they don't understand like th this this is this was the initial comment okay so kessler as you guys know, you know, not, not everybody is a big fan of him. Today on Twitter, or not today, well, 11 hours ago, well, yeah, that would be today because he tweeted out at night. He said, quote, it's sad that Donald Trump gets blamed for everything that's going on, hashtag four more years. And I have to agree with that. I mean, I haven't really seen anything that you can necessarily blame him for. We should be right. He's not. Like, I'm sorry, but please provide me the evidence and tell me where, you know, exactly, you know, the guy has went wrong. All right, we're back. Had to talk to my mom there for a few seconds. Bro, this is honestly annoying. Like, bro, I'm going to say this straight out, but, like, I want Trump back in the office because I feel like there's no other better candidate out there. Prove me wrong. I mean, I don't want to be political about this, but I've just seen so many of my friends just hate Trump for no reason when they have literally no evidence to back any of their bull crap up. It's it's annoying, seriously. And I have to change the thumbnail real quick as well here for my stream here real quick. And you're allowed to speak your mind. I, I don't understand what it is with people just taking, you know, opinions the wrong way. It's an opinion. I mean, you like a certain president, you like them. There, there, there's nothing wrong with liking a certain president. I just don't get it with people these days. They like to go on social media and just bash anybody for anything. It's crazy. So the logo would be first way. Um, Let's see. So it's the Rangers. Okay. Okay. All right. So I would do the Rangers first. Oh my God. Jesus. Why does everything get moved? Like, come on, man. There you go. All right, the verses will go in the middle again as it was supposed to. All right, and then the Arizona logo would get switched out for the Carolina logo. Oh my God, bro, can you stop moving? Like, it's so annoying when this when stuff gets moved, it's crazy. All right, there you go. So the Hurricanes logo is up there now. Boom. Boom, bow, that's done. Yes, sir. All right, versus, yep. We need to change the top of it, though. Um, let's change it to the NHL 2020 NHL play-in game. Yep. That would be the more appropriate title for this. There you go. 
Awesome, perfect. There you go. All right, the live would get pushed down. Perfect, to be honest. And then you would switch the bottom, obviously. It would be, let's see, be the New York Rangers versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, he says, hey, oh, yeah, Arizona sports guy, what's going on? He says, hey, Bob, wanted to drop a like and show some support. Thanks so much, my man. I appreciate it. Uh, by the way, I just wanted to ask you, have you been like, you know, grinding on YouTube lately? Because I haven't seen like uh, videos from you or maybe I just haven't been receiving, you know, the notifications as usual from YouTube, you know, because that's what happens most of the time. All right. So there's the verses. Victory Royale. Nice. And there you go. Boom. Let's just put it this way. Boom. And now we're going to go ahead and replace this. All right. With a thumbnail. The more appropriate thumbnail, just to be honest. Let's see. All right, there you go, perfect. And then, boom. And then what I would need to do is copy something from one of my videos. There you go. Copy the description, boom. Copy it into this video. And so far, we're still in the intermission of this uh, game one between the Rangers and the Hurricanes. So that's about as uh, as much as I could say about it right now, currently. Um, go Montreal. So you're saying go F Pittsburgh and go Montreal? Is that what you're trying to say? Kind of rude there, my guy. If we're being honest. That video though that I that I deleted is not it's not supposed to be into that playlist, but you know whatever. All right, let's see now. Yep. The thumbnail has officially changed. Let's go. And last thing, last but not least, we, I need to go ahead and add a comment under this stream. There you go. Boom. Then we got that chase for 600. There you go. All right, so, um, yeah, the first period is not over just, or the intermission is not over yet. I want to see how long it's going to take before it starts up again. Oh, we're about uh, remote, We're about three minutes away from the start of the second period, so we're not that far away for sure. I'm probably just going to go to the chat now on my phone. So then if you see my head looking down like this, you know, you'll know that I'm looking at the chat through my phone instead of looking at it through the computer because obviously i'll be watching the game through the computer so there you go that's how i see it there you go and that looks pretty good now and my hair jesus christ all right now we're good you want pittsburgh to win or yeah of course montreal i mean what i mean as much as I'm a Bruins fan and the Capitals fan, which, yeah, I'm technically supposed to not like both of the teams that much, which I don't. But, I mean, I would prefer uh, Montreal to win over Pittsburgh because they're uh, under, you know, they would, be, uh, they would be like an underdog story for the win, which would be nice to see, to be honest.
<laughs> Hello all, you're welcome. So if you guys want to talk about anything, just let me know. We can start up a chat, uh, you know, talk about something for sure. Because I don't want to just sit around and, you know, not have to say anything. Because I think it's only boring for you guys to watch, but also for myself. Yep, we're going to start up the second period shortly. I already saw the score being put up for the second period, so we're almost uh, there. I sent you a pick on Insta. Did you receive it? Let me see. Yep, it's the start of the second period. Let's go. Um, let's see. Oh, please, can you load up Instagram for once? They're showing the play-in games. Number seven Islanders go up against the number ten Panthers. Number twelve Canadians go up against the number five Penguins, and then the number eight ranked Leafs and the conference go up against the number nine ranked Columbus Blue Jackets. And uh, most of those games are going to take uh, action tomorrow. Obviously, the Pittsburgh um, Carolina or uh, Montreal game is going to take place today. So officially started the second period. Obviously, the Rangers are on the power play. And we'll see how it goes for them. Oh, my God. You got the Richard jersey. And it's, it's a nice-looking one as well because it's a Reebok jersey. It looks clean, bro. That's honestly a great jersey. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so the Rangers got the control so far in the hurricane zone. Carolina is going to try to clear it. They can't. Jordan Stahl takes it. He's going to clear it now. The Hurricanes go for a change. As do the Rangers, they go to their second unit now because um, obviously Panarin was out there before with Kreider, and now they're going to try the second unit. Or no, they're still out there. Never mind. I guess it was only the Hurricanes players that changed. Zibanejad, big slap shot from the point, misses the net. This is going to be the key for the Rangers. They need to get their power play going. Uh, another clear by the Hurricanes, this time Sebastian Ajo, so... Yeah, I saw your jersey. It's an insane jersey. Absolutely clean. It's a nice one. It's a Richard uh, Reebok jersey as well, so it's really nice. You created it? Yo, Chucky Sucky, what's going on, my man? <laughs> All right, there's a little bit of shove there for the... For Truba and Flurry in front of the net, they kind of just whacked at each other and kind of pushed each other into each other, lol. And now they uh, they kind of you know took away the scrum. Jesus Christ, man, these teams do not like each other. I need to go. See you later. All right, it's all good, man. I see you later as well. So 19 seconds still left on the power play for the Rangers. So, uh, Hurricanes win the draw, and they clear the puck. So that was pretty much it for the Rangers' power play. The Hurricanes are going to kill it off. The second unit was out there as well for the Rangers for the last, like, 13 seconds. <laughs> last thing, go Montreal, go. Okay. Yep, go Montreal, go, sure. Against the Penguins, yeah. All right, so, yeah, now the penalty has been killed off. Yep, see you as well. See you, my man. All right, so the Rangers now got the puck. Obviously, they weren't able to capitalize on the power play that they had just now. Um, 
The Hurricanes retrieved the puck back, though. Uh, they cleared it out of their zone. The Rangers now have it in their blue line. Mark Stahl with D'Angelo out there as the pair. That, that broken stick, though, is kind of haunting the Rangers right now as it almost messed up a pass from Mark Stahl to D'Angelo. Uh, the, the Rangers dump the puck into the Carolina zone, but Edmonton is going to get it quickly and retrieve it for the Hurricanes. They're going to lose the puck in the, in the, on their own blue line, but the Hurricanes are, end up recovering. And now they're in the Rangers zone. Nate Chess's line is out there with you know, Nito Ryder, and I believe that's uh, some other guy. I'm not sure who that is. Can't see him. Oh, Trocek. Okay, so that's a pretty nice line right there. Uh, they were actually one of the better lines for the Hurricanes against the Capitals, so we'll see how they do in this one. Um, Nino Niederreiter, though, has been, you know, pretty, um, I would say he's been pretty, okay, there's a penalty now on the Hurricanes. Vincent Trocek is going to go to the box for tripping. It was kind of a weird one as well because the player, the, the player was trying to get around the boards around Trocek, but he ended up getting tripped by Lindgren. Yo, Trocek was literally, literally trying to hit Lindgren, and then he draws that penalty by falling. That was kind of a weird call, to be honest. Because, to be honest, that was kind of like a semi-hit. It wasn't really necessarily uh, intending for Lindgren to fall, but he did. So now that kind of makes it, you know, a penalty and a power play. Another one for the Rangers as well. So 16.32 left in the second period. Two-minute power play here for the Rangers. The second unit is out this time for the Rangers to start. Capo Caco with Jacob Trouba and all those guys, along with Bushnevich and Hiro. And the other guy out there would be Adam Fox. I think it was a hand pass by the Rangers, but the Hurricanes ended up touching it up. It's almost a three-on-one for the Hurricanes as they jumped into the play, but... Now the Rangers have almost a three-on-one going the other way. Kapokako with the shot, big save, big rebound, and the Hurricanes are able to retrieve the puck and clear it down the ice. So almost a big chance one way and almost an absolute collapse the other way as both teams were able to recover. Привет, Marsh. <laughs> All right, so the Hurricanes are going to head for the penalty, or I guess you would say shorthanded chance. Скажи привет на русском. Привет. Юра уже проснулся, если ты спрашиваешь. Он там сейчас Женей разговаривает в зале. All right, so the Rangers are back in the attack. Azabinejad's got the puck with Panarin. They're going to pass it around back to Zabinejad, a rebound chance that the Rangers cannot jump on, and the Hurricanes get another clear yet again. The Rangers try to enter the zone. Oh, my God, a failed clear by the Hurricanes. Kreider with the puck back to Adam Fox. Adam Fox is going to hold on. Panarin, wrist shot. Tried to pass it on to Zibanej. It was kind of like a wrist shot slash pass. It didn't work out, so the Hurricanes get the last clear as the power play is up for the New York Rangers. So I think it's been like, what, three or four power play chances already? A breakaway for the Hurricanes and a big save by Henrik Lundqvist, and that was Brock McGinn, I believe, this time. Or no, it wasn't Brock McGinn. It was, uh, what's his name? Man, I can't remember his name. Uh, Fogel, there you go. Warren Fogel was in on the breakaway, and uh, he tried to shoot a five hole. He shot. He shot it basically into the Lundqvist's body, pretty much. It, it didn't even go five hole. That's the funny thing. There was a close call right there, though. That pass from Panarin it was a sneaky one, but uh, the pad of the of Mrazek ran into the way for Zibanejad. So big save. Shots are 14-9 for Carolina, though. So the shots are becoming more even, but of course, the Rangers have back-to-back -back power play chances, so you can obviously see as to why the, the, the shots are almost tied at 14. So the Rangers have the puck again. 
Ryan Lindgren passes it over to Jacob Truba, and he's going to dump the puck into the Carolina zone. Sammy Vatnam back there to retrieve the puck for the Hurricanes. Vincent Trocek now with the puck. Another delay call. This time it's on the Rangers, so a power play coming for the Hurricanes. The sixth attacker is out there. That would be, that would be Jay Gardner. And the Rangers are going to retrieve the puck now. And uh, there you go. There's going to be a power play coming up for the Hurricanes. I believe it's Ryan Lingering going to the box. And um, we're going to go into a little bit of a commercial break here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're back in action now. The commercial break is over. The Hurricanes now got a power play. And there you go. They capitalized on this. Veshnikov passed it to Sebastian Ajo in front of the net. And it's 2 nothing for the Hurricanes. So the Rangers are down 2 nothing now. Brett Howden actually took the penalty. It wasn't even Lindgren that took it. They just showed Lindgren before uh, we went to the commercial break. But a nice little, you know... Set up there by uh, Sveshnikov to Sebastian Aho. Semi Vatnin got the secondary assist to it. It w looks like Williams almost touched that puck as well, but there you go. It just beat Lunquist square and foot, and yeah, Lunquist had barely any chance on that. So big goal right there for the Hurricanes. They're up 2 nothing now. But yeah, the Rangers, man. That's crazy. Сейчас я посмотрю. Что я пока не вижу сейчас. Надо, ты написал привет. Да. All right, well, the Hurricanes now up to nothing. There's about 
I would say 12 and a half minutes left to play, but it's now down to about 12.20 to go in the second period. And uh, the Rangers, they need a spark here. They really do. And uh, yet another penalty for the Hurricanes. This time it's a holding call on Hayden Fleury. He's going to go to the box. And yet another power play chance for the Rangers. They have to capitalize on this power play. Like if they want to have, if they want to turn this game around and at least have a chance to potentially tie in this game, and it's not over by any means, but the way it's looking right now, it's not looking great. That's for sure. So a two-minute power play, of course. We'll see if the Rangers can capitalize on this. Um. But, you know, the biggest reason why I say that the Rangers want to get a goal now is because not just to turn the momentum into their favor, but also, you know, you cannot just rely on, like, the rest of the game to get a, a goal to get within one and then tie the game. Like, you, you you need to get a goal as soon as you can, right? This is, this is you know, this is the end goal right here. Um, so far, they got a pretty good um, passing game going on, but the Hurricanes just intercepted that puck behind the net and they cleared it with Edmondson clearing that puck. There's about a minute and 20 seconds still left on that power play, but time is ticking. The Rangers do need a goal here on the power play. It's just intercepted yet again by Tara Vinen. He's not able to clear it. He clears it on the second attempt. So, so far, man, the Hurricanes, yeah, they've just been the better team in this game. Um, and the Rangers' power play just hasn't really been a factor at all for them. Like, they, like this is probably the best they've played on the power play out of any power play chances they've had thus far in terms of puck control and stuff like that. But now, you know, the second half of, that, of this power play, it's been pretty bad. And there's almost a 2-on-1 chance for the Hurricanes, and they almost put that in the back of the net. So, man, the Rangers, they really need to figure stuff out. And I think there's yet another penalty coming. Adam Fox going to the box. Bro, this is turning into like just a uh, penalty massacre. Holy crap. Four and four power play or four and four time now for both teams with 38 seconds to go. Adam Fox was sliding and accidentally tripped Martinuk. Not the smartest play right there. I mean, it is a penalty, so I, I'll give him that. They could have probably called that off because, to be honest, Martinuk already made the pass before he got tripped, but, you know. That's just on Adam Fox now to kind of reflect back on and kind of decide whether, you know, that was deserving of a penalty or not. But, yeah, um, I, could, I, I saw the Rangers head coach's face at times in this game, and he was pretty furious. So, yeah, right now um, the Rangers are not having the best times for sure. The, the Hurricanes, though, they, they kind of have to be happy with what they've been doing, except that they probably want to take less penalties than they've been taking. Brady Shea with a wrist shot from the point gets saved by Lundqvist, and there's no rebound there to be had. There's a little scrum, though, with Trocek in front of the net with Brendan Smith and Tony D'Angelo. But, yeah, these teams really do not like each other. I can already see from their faces and stuff. So still about 25 seconds left on the 4-4 four four here. Heroes out with Bushnevich. And Tony D'Angelo, they're, they're going to wrap it into the Hurricane zone. The Hurricanes are going to take the control of the puck, though. Vincent Trocek up the ice. He's going to get a nice little deke in and almost a nice good chance right there that just barely missed the net. So Brady Shea, former New York Rangers, got the puck now. And this is what I'm saying. Most of these, like, Rangers defensemen, like, leave to other teams, whether it's mostly to Tampa or now to, like, Carolina. It's crazy. And who would have thought, right, the Rangers would, you know, trade Brady Shea to then find out that he would be playing against them in the play-in round again, you know, with the Hurricanes though this time. The, the, this is what they acquired Brady Shea and Semi Vatnin for at the deadline to the Hurricanes because Dougie Hamilton suffered an injury. There was also a few other injuries to the backhand. And they still have defensemen that they can plug into their de defensive core. It's crazy. This is how deep Carolina's defense really is. He's the best defensive core now in the NHL. You probably would have said that about Nashville a few years back, but it's hands down Carolina now. After that playoff run last year, and especially the uh, last few regular seasons that they've had, I think hands down they have the best defensive core. 
And they still have more defensemen on the way. I mean, uh, I forget that one. Uh, they have Jake Bean in the system. Like, they have defensemen coming up still, and it's crazy to think. Semi Vatna, big slap shot from the point. Rebound for the Hurricanes. Uh, they get the puck back on the point. Uh, up to Williams on the le left hand side. Vatna with the puck from the point. Sveshkov shot it with the wrist shot, got blocked. And there's another penalty. Oh my gosh. Sveshnikov takes a, looks like a high sticking call. And another power play for the Rangers. So, wow. I don't know, man. This game has just been filled with penalties. It's crazy. Like, who's really going to stop getting into, like, penalty trouble? It's it's crazy because there's been so much trouble in this freaking... It's crazy. It's just it's crazy. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go dump my gum out of my face, out of my mouth. all right well i'm back and uh there's a five on three wait five on three no it's not it looked like it was gonna be but looks like the puck was deflected off the boards and out so there's still yet a five on four power play here for the uh the carolina hurricanes or sorry the rangers my bad but D'Angelo with a big shot from the point and the rebound there for Kreider that he couldn't put to the back of the net. Big hit right there by Kreider on Slavin or on the boards, which forced the turnover. Panarin or Dazabinajel on the boards. <gasps> Oof, that was that was close because that puck was wide in the open and it could have easily went to Kreider and then he could have passed it over to Panarin for a nice one-time goal. But it just ended up uh, getting out of the corner and getting, like, uh, hard-fetched uh, into Mrazic's pads. So he makes the easy save, per se. So 122 left still on this power play for the Rangers. So I brought a little water bottle here to drink. Ah, there you go. All right, so the Rangers now got the... Uh, puck control in the hurricane zone still a minute or five left on the power play Panarin with the puck wrist shot that misses the net and it goes out of the hurricane zone and out that was basically a shot and a clear at the same time crazy so d'angelo with the puck passes it back to panarin panarin is gonna get the zone entry and then kind of got a clean one i'm surprised as to why the hurricanes didn't really pressure him at that point Zibanejad got a shot from the point and got blocked, and Sebastian Aho makes it clear. Simon Ensel says, hi, it's Excel. Oh, what's going on, buddy? So 2 nothing still for the Hurricanes. Well, not 2 nothing still, but I mean, like, you know, they made it 2 nothing in the second period, but... um. 
what I'm trying to say is that the Hurricanes have had the lead so far in this game and it hasn't went to the Rangers yet because obviously the Rangers haven't scored a single goal yet. A failed clear by Slave and a big slap shot from the point by the Rangers, and that was Bushnevich, and that puck goes out of bounds. So Zibinja with that shot, yeah, was literally deflected by Sebastian Ajo's stick. Nice hand-eye coordination there. Absolutely tremendous play right there by Sebastian Ajo. It's crazy to think that we have hockey right now. This is your dad's phone. Nice. All right, so shot from the point goes kind of wide as well by the Rangers, but it was kind of deflected, I think, with somebody by in front of the net. So the Hurricanes out are, are out of the box. Vincent Trocek with a chance there on Lundqvist, and he makes another save there, does Lundqvist. So Lundqvist hasn't played bad at all in this game. If anybody's going to point this on Lundqvist to say, well, it's been Lundqvist, it's really not been. I mean, you could say that that sl Slavin goal was a little bit weak, but other than that, I think that second goal was more so on the Rangers and them taking the penalty rather than being on Lundqvist because it was a deflection to a nice little one by Sebastian Ajo. It's nice that you're going to watch the stream for a bit. Sorry, I can't talk. My freaking throat is killing me. It's crazy. All right, so the Hurricanes are going to get the puck now and dump it into the Rangers zone as Hayden Fleury obviously came out of the box. The Hurricanes got the puck now, a shot that went wide as Sebastian Ajo got a one-timer on that. Martin Natchez, Nito, Nito, Nito Ryder, and Sebastian Ajo are out there. And that would be probably their first line, I'm assuming. So Bushnevich on the puck right now. He's going to wrap it around to pretty much nobody. And then the Rangers get the puck behind the net. It's Chris Kreider to Adam Fox, back to Chris Kreider. Now to Lindgren. He's going to get the shot. He's going to get the goal. It's 2-1. to one. I think Bushnevich got a tip on that puck. And it's a 2-1 to one game now. I don't know, man. I thought Marizic really had that puck, but it was a deflection, looks like, by Zibanejad now. So the Rangers are right back in this game. Yeah, it was a nice little tip by Zibanejad in the slot. Ryan Ligren literally shot that puck for a deflection, and wow, what a nice little tip in there. There you go. It's a 2-1 to -one game now. All right, then. So it's 2-1. to one. There's still five minutes left to play in the second period as well. Shot from the point by the Rangers gets saved by Peter Mrazek. But Shnevich has got a nice little beard he's rocking. They just showed it from a camera angle. It was nice. Oh boy, I think I'm going to chill back a bit like this. Just give me a sec. I just had to lay back a bit, guys. Whew. I just got to I just kind of got tired of sitting in one position, so Who's Charles Lindgren's brother, though? Because I didn't really get that comment. My grandma says, hi, Nikita. Yeah, tell her hi as well. All right, let me just sit like this real quick. There you go. All right, and I'm going to move the laptop probably a little bit closer to me like this. There you go. I'm going to put my water bottle right here.
Ryan Lindgren is Charles Lindgren's brother. Yeah, they are brothers, yeah. But that was a nice tip in right there by Zabinijat. It's his fifth career postseason goal as well. Obviously, this is counted as postseason action, so there you go. Yeah, this is not over by any means. You know the life of the Montreal team? What do you mean? Oh, okay. Nice. All right, so Capocaca with the puck behind the net for the Rangers. He's going to pass it out to Panarin. Back to Kako. Over there to Mark Stahl. And it got tipped out by Tiwa Teravainen and out of play. So 447 still left in the second period. And there's yet another power play for somebody. And it's going to be for the New York Rangers. I'm assuming. Oh, my God. Sammy Vatnin took the penalty. His stick literally got stuck in um, Capocaco's skates, and he goes down. So there you go. Power play incoming for the Carolina Hurricanes. Or, sorry, for the Rangers. My bad. So there's a power play chance here for the Rangers to tie the game up. And I don't know why, but I feel like they're going to tie the game right now. I just, I have a feeling that they will. Jordan Staldo gets the puck. He's going to pass it over to Vincent Trocek. He's going to go into the Rangers zone. He's going to try to deke, and D'Angelo is going to say no to it. Zibanejad with the puck. Pass it back to Ryan Strom. Chris Kreider with the chance. Misses the net. The Rangers still have the puck. Ryan Strom to Zibanejad all the way around to Panarin. Panarin with the puck. Gets stripped by Sebastian Ajo. And he clears it. So interesting right there. The Rangers are um, not able to get that puck control going again in the Carolina zone. Carolina's done a really good job on the uh, penalty kill so far. Not just on this one, but in this game in general. Oh, man, there was almost a one-on-one -on -one chance there for Tara Vine, and That puck almost uh, got onto his stick, but it slipped past his stick. He got it back. Around the net. Mika Zibanej has scored the power play goal, which is now assisted by Lindgren and Chris Kreider. So the official assists have been made or have been put up. Uh, the Carolina Hurricanes cannot clear the puck. Now they do. And I'm not sure how much time there's left on this power play. They're not really showing the time anywhere. I'm watching the MSG feed. Did you ever hear of George Roy? No. So three minutes uh, almost exactly left in the second period. The Rangers are still obviously on the power play. Slavin got the puck now. He, he's going to pass it to Edmonton. He almost clears that puck, but uh, in the end, Jordan Stahl forces it to go out of the zone. And the Rangers are back on the attack as there was a long stretch pass by Jacob Truba to Capocaco. He's going to get it into the Rangers or into the Her Car Carolina zone. And then Sammy Vatling just got out of the box. So two minutes and 30 seconds left in the second period. Carolina's now got the puck in the Rangers zone. Marty Natchez passed it over to Hayden Fleury. Hayden Fleury's going to pass it over to Mr. Trocek. Nino Niederreiter has the puck. He's going to pass it around to Hayden Fleury which is going to pass it over to Nino Niederreiter and they lose the name again, or they lose the puck again. He was playing with Quebec as he was a big fighter as its team name. Okay.
All right, sorry, I had to be mute there for a few moments because, you know, my mom came into the room. She started, you know, raising her voice for no reason. But we got about a minute and 20 seconds left in the second period as it's still a two-to-one game for the Hurricanes. All right, so there's another power play that's going to be coming for the Carolina Hurricanes this time. It's coming late in the second period as there's about a minute left to play in the second period as well. Sebastian Alho is going to get the puck. He's going to wrap it around all the way to Justin Williams, who's going to get the puck, pass it to Vatnin, pass it to Aravainen, slap shot from the point. Sebastian Alho doesn't get to the net. Justin Williams with the puck. Got to pass it back to Tiva Teravainen. Teravainen to Williams. Back to Teravainen, back to Vatnin on the point, on the side to Sveshnikov. He's going to dangle with it, pass it to Williams behind the net, back to Teravainen, and it goes out of bounds as he tried to pass it yet one more time. So 111 left on the power play for the Hurricanes with 24.4 seconds to go in the second period. The Carolina Hurricanes lead the New York Rangers 2-1 to one in this game. He was your grandma's uncle. That was nice. That's nice, actually. Oof. That was a tough collision right there along the boards with Trocek being involved in it. The Rangers are going to clear the puck. There's about five seconds left in the second period. Looks like the Hurricanes are not going to be able to do much on it. He's going to pass, Gardner going to pass it over to Natchez, and that's it for the second period. 47 seconds still left, left on the Hurricanes' power play, though, heading into the third period, but it's only a one-goal game now uh, between both teams, but Hurricanes... Still got the advantage over the Rangers two to one. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm all good. It's just my mom was coming into the room, you know, here and there and trying to talk with my sister. So I had to kind of mute the conversation because she was, she was raising her voice. You have 85 subs now? Nice, dude. You see, I'm telling you, the growth is going to come. It's just, you know, you just got to consistently put the work in. 
and that's all there is to it essentially let me actually go ahead and move my computer over now with myself over to my bed here behind the PC. First, I need to do this little thing here. Let me just go ahead and do it real quick. Yeah, I hope I get to 1K subs, that's for sure, yeah. 505 right now. Looks like all of the subscriptions you made to me, they kind of deleted them, except your own initial subscription to my channel, so that's unfortunate. But that's okay, man. It's all good. I knew YouTube was going to do it some time later, but, you yeah. know. As long as I don't mess with the YouTube guidelines, that's all that there is to it. It's not like, you know, I force you to do it or anything like that. You, you just decided to do it yourself out of, you know, your generosity to me. So I thank you for that. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and sit now. And five hundred six with my dad's account. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it, dude. I didn't actually see that, but yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Five hundred seven. What? There's another subscription that came. Nice, man. That's real nice. Nice, bro. Someone subbed. There you go, my man. That's great. Let's go. All right. So well, now we're ready to sit. Now we're ready to go. You know. Yep, thank you for the congratulations and stuff. 505, now 507. Let's go. Pretty ecstatic about this. Let's see. Yep, it's not being. I don't think it's being. Yep, it's all good. There you go. And I'm hopeful. All right, so the stream. Might come today for the Panthers and Islanders game as well, but then there's a game at three for the Oilers and the Blackhawks. That's going to come like right about in 11 minutes. Or no, not 11 minutes, sorry, in a minute, uh, in an hour and 11 minutes. So we still have to get through the Hurricanes and the Rangers game before we get to that um, Oilers versus uh, Blackhawks game. But I'm excited for that game. So let me just go back to the chat on my laptop here real quick. You have maybe a surprise for me? Okay. Is it a Fortnite surprise? What is it? Hey, what's going on, Eddie? Это о чем? А с чего? Сырная не 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 а картошка? Угу. Вкусно. Спасибо. Yeah, it sure does feel like Christmas morning. And by the way, I did look at your link. I'm sorry that it didn't respond to you, but yeah, I'll try to order uh, order a jersey a jersey soon for the for the Jets. LOL, you don't have to ask him to raid me. He did it yesterday. It's fine. It's all good. 
He's doing his own stream, so I, I'm fine with that. It's all cool. He doesn't have to if he doesn't need to. You don't have to force him. It's all good. But yeah, we're still in the second intermission, though. Uh, two to one for the Hurricanes thus far. Have the birds? You have the best jersey? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> have the Hogs jersey right here. I, I love this jersey. Let me actually go to his chat real quick. Nordique. Let me see where he's at. My guy. Bro, Excel said he was going to ask Nori to rate it, and Nikita said, and Nikita said no, because he has his own stream, and you raised him yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> As in, you have your own stream. Well, yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> It's all good. What's up, Nikita, by the way? Um, yeah. It's just that I I would, but first off, this is not a race. I will have this is play by play. Are you done and, with uh, your life? We have like no one. Are you done with so, your like, life? Are you done with your no. life? No. Uh, I got to I also already did yesterday. Yeah. Thought I'd do that just to be nice. I'll read you again, but like it needs to be like way in the future. So you forget. Countdown to game, an hour and 29, 29 minutes. We'll probably have a break in between. Ew, Pierre McGuire looks like a... It's not me, it's Excel. I didn't ask for it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just sent you a jersey pick, Nikita. All right. I'll take a look at it. Yeah, the Maurice Richard jersey. I know it's a nice-looking jersey for you, but... How would you get on Nikita's account, like, honestly? Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be... Yes, you did, you did ask for it. Like, I don't know why you're trying to start, start something right now. Like... Like, I've already, I've already rated him once, honestly, bro. Like, I don't rate, well, I'm not trying to be toxic or anything, but I'm rating people two times in a row. Like, I don't know why you're just trying to start, like, start something. Just want to come and say hi. What's up, Kate? What is it? Wait, what's going on here? Excel asked me to raid Nikita's stream. First off, it's not even live. I don't even see it. <laughs> One time I got raided by a YouTuber of 5K and then, I, and then I didn't win subs. Yeah, don't ask him again to raid my stream. Don't do that. Like first off, you need to chill. Like I didn't, I didn't start anything. Like you need to just chill out. I don't have his account. That's his dad account. Dude, I'm literally not trying to start drama. I'm chill with you, my guy. It's just Excel. 
Not. Are not so no. Confused. Are you saying you're Excel? I'm so confused. Nikita, I'm on your stream. I know, but I, I'm not, I'm not, this is not me. This is literally Excel. I don't have his account. Simon Enzo is literally his dad's account that he's using right now. He's at his grandma house. Excel is using his dad's account while he is at his grandma's house to watch oh. my stream. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nikita. I'm so sorry, I'm such an idiot. Nikita, I'm such an idiot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's all good. I'm so sorry, Nikita. It's so good. I'm so sorry, Nikita. I thought I thought what I was saying. I'm I thought you what you were saying was um uh, was that you were ex was that Excel had his account. What I'm so, I'm such an idiot. No, guys, chill, 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 chill. I was such an idiot. I was so confused because like I thought you were saying that like you were Excel, like your account was actually Excel. No, no. Like I'm so sorry, Nikita. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Never I'm had such an idiot, his account, and never Stop. will. Freaking Excel. I'm such an idiot. I'm the dumbest person alive. Excel is always. For the convenience of me being an idiot. As always. Um, I'm very sorry. <laughs> no, I, I got confused. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god, it's all good. <laughs> Yo, Excel, bro, you have to chill, my guy. No, nah, no. Nah. I would really never ask you to raid me. I just so I'm sorry, want bro. to. That's just a girl. On my own. Therefore, I don't need any promotion. Okay. Alright, uh, <laughs> right. I'll be right back. I have to go do something real quick for about five minutes.
All right, well, I'm back. Um, I had to take a little break there for a sec. Um, I'm going to go eat in about five minutes again. But for now, while I have the time to, uh, you know, stream and stuff, I will stream. So, hey, Slapshot Hockey, how's it going, my man? What is it? It's still two to one. Interesting. Is it live? Yep, it is live. All right. I'm going to go back to his stream. Here they come. Yeah, four people in the stream. Let's go. We're at currently at 326 subscribers. We're only four away from the sub goal of the stream. Here they come. Shoot it up. All right, so two to one left uh, with about 12 and a half minutes to go here. Jay Malik says, hello, bro. Hey, how is it going, my man? Um, yo, I said sorry. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Yeah. Don't do that again. I mean, because uh, he thought it was me that was doing that, and he thought that I had your account, bro. So just please don't do that again. I don't I don't need, like, somebody else to come and raid my stream. Yesterday, what he did was he did it by himself, so it wasn't anybody trying to, like, tell him. Fortnite after this? Probably, I, yeah. I, I could do something. I, uh, I agree. I would want Carolina to win because, you know, I'm not – I mean, I'm not particularly a fan of any of either of these teams. I mean, I talk about it like, I would prefer Carolina to win as well. I thought the Rangers would win because, like, I mean, Matt would get mad at me. About I subscribe to you with notification. Oh, thank you so much, Jay Matt. Like, oh, appreciate fun. that, my man. Okay, I was just trying to be nice. Yeah, I know, I know. But again, you don't need to force somebody to do something. Don't ask them to do something like that again. Yeah, because, I'm not really a big fan of these, of these teams either. Because again, like, like it's his stream. He has his own rules. Like, I don't want him to just come to my stream just to, like, raid me or something. Like, uh, if he wants to do it, he can do it. I mean, it's his choice. So, um, instead, just support him, and that's all good. Yeah, that's a Patrick Kane jersey right there, number 88. Came. I, for I, what you I'm did, I'm not going to make you a moderator sure for now. But I, I support all teams on the stream. A lot of people do. I support all YouTube teams on the stream, except for... Maybe a few, but the, that's all because they were mean to me for no, for like no particular reason. But you know, I support everyone. I love all of you, especially Latang and Nikita, Slapshot, Angus. Even though he's not here, are the Rangers better than Kings? I think they're just the better team. To be honest with you. I mean, like, yes, the Kings were seated higher, but, like, you know, it's just. Yeah, I mean, Two minute power play here for the Hurricanes with the one 11 minutes, 15 seconds to go in the third. Um, you're a Penguins fan who. Um, you're a Penguins fan, though, but Patrick Kane is one of my favorite players. Nice. I'm actually a Capitals fan, if you didn't know that. So we have that rivalry going on between each other, but. Hey, um, I respect every single team around the league. I don't hate any team. I just, I'm not a big fan, obviously, of the Penguins. Um, I'm going to stop being annoying. <laughs> nice. I'm going to stop being annoying. 
to you. Like, you're not annoying. I'm not saying you're annoying. I'm just saying what you did was not like super professional. Like, I just want you to do that again. Because then again, because he thought it was me that started the whole thing. And then he, he, he thought I started, you know, trying to request him to do another one of those things again. Like, the, like again, like just, you don't have to like ask me like for that. I'll be right back though. I gotta go eat my last thing here. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Yes, I agree. Even better, get him to 510 or 600. Thank you so much, man. I truly appreciate both of you. J Malik as well. Thank you so much, my guy. Truly appreciate that. What happened? No, you're not annoying. It's just that, you know, you, you just don't do that again. That's all good. Hey, how's it going? Um, But, yeah, thank you so much for the everyone like and subscribe thing. I appreciate that. All right. Other than that, though, we're, we're going to jump back into this. It's three to one, Carolina. Wait, what? I missed. I missed the goal. Oh, my God. I have to go back and check the goal. Oof, Jesus. I need to check and see what's up with this. Oh, Trocek scored, really? Let's see. Oh, wow. Let me go back, though. You know, Niederreiter in the zone. The power play just ended. 
Marty Natchez gets a one timer. Trocheck tips it in. Wow. That's the ball breaker right there. With 909 to go as well. Yep. Ball breaker. Absolute ball breaker. You're back. Where did you get the game? Thanks for the moderator. Yeah, no, no problem. Uh, is it on YouTube? No, it's on NHL.com. I just have the subscription for $5 a month. That will allow you to watch all the play-in games. I'm not sure if I can watch uh, like the playoff games, but we'll see. Poor Rangers, I know. Maybe the, all the playoff games are gonna be nationally te televised. Maybe that's gonna see, that's gonna be how it's gonna be, but I don't know. Yeah, they replayed that goal yet again here too. At least on the um, MSG feed, which is the New York Rangers feed. But yeah, let me actually go back to uh, let's see. And stop and Minecraft is legendary, also. Okay, just skating up. They're not a power player. I need to stop talking about Minecraft and stop and start talking. 3 1 Canes. Let's go. Here come the Canes now. So, Dumps it into the Rangers zone. Lopez no. gets it. Now was nice tip by Trojack. Can we get predictions on the Blackhawks Oilers game? Uh let's see. Let's go, yes, Four to sir. two. Blackhawks. Oh jeez. It wasn't gonna be four one if it weren't for that amazing save by Lundquist. Lundquist has been playing pretty well even though he led it to three goals. LOL, same. Admit, admit, that was That's a very good 6.15 remaining in the third. Just, he's skating up now. Shot, save. Another save. Hawks, 4-2. Hmm. I'm going to say Oilers, 5-3. Little same. Same, let's go. I could see both teams winning to be honest. You know I'm not by it. Yeah. I'm a Oilers fan too. So it's tough for me to predict that. Do you play hockey? No. Um, unfortunately not. I'm in Florida, so we get most of the lightning games, and they're going to play tomorrow, so finally hockey. I'm actually in Florida as well. That's the funny thing. What part of Florida are you from? Because I'm in Miami, so. Oh, 
and kind of the following season. That's being down to next boss on the top part. Oh, once number one to Obi, yeah. Obi's in my top five. Big Jesus. <laughs> Big Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You're live, I didn't get noticed. Hey Devin, what's up? Sorry, right, man. Matt was like, where's Devin? Matt, you Matt, you and Devin ready for tonight? It's gonna be a pretty good it's gonna be a pretty good game. Number three, Dryso. Hey, yeah, Devin's gonna be up. Uh, Sorry, I probably should have posted that I was live in the stream chat and then this in the Snapchat. All right, so it's still three to one. The Hurricanes. Let's look at the live chat right now. Do you play hockey? I have a game tomorrow. Space Coast area. Like I live like four hours from Miami. Oh, okay, nice, interesting. Okay. That's not bad. So you're probably like uh, close to the northern side of Florida then. Yeah, notice was broken. Notice I've been broken. I didn't get it. I didn't get a notification for any streams at all. I, I didn't even get it. I didn't get a notification for Nikita's. Yeah. Why do you why why YouTube these problems? I don't know what they're thinking. They're honestly saying like Especially since they made those rules. It is on top of I agree. About, that would be fun going on a call, honestly. About me. That's gonna be absolute like your videos. The kids. Yes, it's That's cringe. Yeah, I did I didn't get notification from the key to stream. It didn't work either, but at least she just popped on when I checked yours was not. Especially since I didn't Yeah, the key that didn't work either, but at least he popped up when I checked yours out over there. Nikita said, even my, even my subscriptions don't work, like my subscriptions and stuff, especially since those rules about making your videos for kids or not, that's cringe. Oh my god, like, I'm low-key kind of worried about what gods that I make, kind of, to be honest with you, because like, I want to, I, at the beginning, if you guys are really real OGs, which I think is Latang, I can't remember the game has been here for, since like, 50 subs, I want to say, maybe a little bit later or earlier than that, but like, anyways. Latang, Hayden, I, I used to make my videos made for kids, then I realized, wait a second, that's not a good idea. I made it not for kids, but like, it's retarded, like, if you're, it should like, just go to YouTube, go to YouTube Kids, like, YouTube Kids is perfect for that stuff. I used to use YouTube Kids, like, when I was like, Yeah, no, I think you should not No, you're, you're, you'll, I'll never pick up you, even if I get 200. You're, 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 you're sore. You've been popping off recently, too. A lot of people have been popping off. Road to 400. Yes, sir. Road to 600 for you. I can't wait to make it to 1K. I love this game. I, this game's awesome. This game's probably been the best game. Probably, by far the funnest stream. It was kind of... The stream is a bit dull. All due respect to the guys over here, but it was a bit dull through like the first and first and second period. But until like all you guys got here, the third period's been so much fun. Two minutes remaining. Stall with the puck now in the corner. It's Kane's power play. Shot. Goal. It is three two Rangers with a minute and fifty four remaining in the third period. I think I've been following and Mark Stahl. Since since you've had there you go, three to two, three to two hurricanes now. The lead has been cut in half. Ma'am, no, hey, Carolina still is, Carolina can still win. Uh, Mark Stahl. I mean, well, um, you've been um, growing fast in here in the past few weeks, so. Yeah, I've been following you. If that's the same kid you need, I've been around with you since about 200. Well, like, it's been
been awesome, man. I th- I thank you so much for being such a good guy. And when I need someone to play with, you're just I just yeah. go to you. I you're one of the first people I go to. Yeah, it's also support. I I go to Matt. I go to you. Okay. All right, let's take the range up a timeout. So, Hmm. Could you ask Mo what she's going right. to do for a count? All right, well, there's 52 seconds remaining on this 13th power play, so they're going to do this shorthanded. Yeah, yeah, wow. Allah. They're going to do this shorthanded. Because there's 52, there's a 52 second hurricane power play. Yeah, we still get the pee pee. Mm-hmm. It's going to be, it's gonna be thing, risky. I'm going to be honest with you is watch Netflix, so if my mom ever deletes Netflix or stops paying for it, I'm going to have a mental breakdown because I'm going to give her a watch Vampire Diaries. All right, so I'm finally back. Let's take a look at my stream. I meant 600 subs. Who scored? Oh, um, I think it was. Let me check. Let me see. See who scored real quick. Oh, it was Mark Stahl who scored from the point to make it three to two. The the Hurricanes don't have the power play right now. Kings on in the Rangers zone. Pass shot saved by Lundqvist. So I mean, one thirty one left in the third period. At twenty eight seconds still left on that Carolina power play. Yeah, everyone's really keen. No Rangers fans. So then the Sorry, I'm going to do caps. Well, it's pretty interesting. I said just watch me. Still. This is going to come down to the last goal. Um, I need to check this card real quick. Because I need, I, need, I need a thumbnail for the Edmonton-Chicago game. Yes, sir. Slavin with it now. Up to the point. Button back to Slavin. There's a commentating here. Gotta go by. I'm gonna be seven back. I'll watch your next game. All right, man. Yes. See you later. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Power plays over. Rangers got a minute to do this. Even though with Caspian, I really want. I, I still really want the Kings. Please, my phone's about to die. Please, can you pass me the charger? There goes Lundqvist. Oh, Why is Lundqvist in their own zone? Mm. Can you please pass me the charger? Like what charger? I just told you for the phone. I can't. Can't you see? I have everything set up. Can't you stand up yourself? You don't have anything on you. Yeah, it's pretty weird. The Rangers are a pretty hated team, to be honest with you. When you look at it, it's a pr- they're a pretty huh? hated team. I'm gonna read the chat as long as I can scroll up. Whoa! Oh yes, I am. I'm gonna get my popcorn. Him and this other girl were arguing. I don't exactly. know, man. Twenty-seven seconds Things left. Rangers if they can do something. This there. Is crazy. Oh. We were kidding. Uh, Rangers we were kidding, not me. Chill out, sir. We were zone. joking. Never mind. Rated. I don't want to start this. Um, Ten seconds left. Come on, you guys can do it. Come I was on. trying to help. I told them Seven, to leave the girl. Six, five. Final leave chance. the girl to the Save other guys. Did it. That's- guys, watch. You're the only one. Being a rude unicorn, we didn't do anything, so I could upset your some tags, but just stop. Dial a X. So, thick, fix. Um, what's the stop calling? Right, it looks like it's gonna be a chain stop, guys. That number, what? Can you all chill? Literally, Final score. watch her and she I mean, tags a lot, right, calling a score. bitch. Unicorn, go get yes, some sir. water and take a deep breath. What? Yeah, um, they're just fighting. With two seconds left? He should have done that, actually. Why did he let it go? He could have got up, put it on a stick, boom, shot it. That would have been insane. 
Again? Oh my god. Bro, yeah, just, just do it. Like, if there's two seconds, I didn't even post the first score. level I'm about to. Refs want to read the score. Reading the They'll probably slow down the clock. No, I saw you die. There's no way. Pet there's rat. No way. What the? Yup. Good game, everybody. That's game one. The Canes win one nothing. Mm. Let's go. It's uh, it's in the books. All right, what's going on, Mr. Gaming? How's it going, my man? All right, I think I'm going to end this stream. I think if I do stream, I'll be streaming the... Oilers Blackhawks game next on my PS4 so you'll see like the NHL 20 gameplay behind the screen but we can still talk about the game as I'll be watching the game and if you guys want to see me do a face reaction I can do one at 10 30 for the Jets versus the Flames so watch out for that as well but until then thank you so much for watching everybody make sure you guys like subscribe comment share this video and until next time I'll see you guys You know what I kind of wanted? Oh my god, my friend. You know what I kind of wanted to do?